can say that uh, exercise at Agogoshi has freed over 80 acres of the original government acquisition at Agogoshi. So, in, 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 in other words, we we'll say that we have been able to reclaim 80 acres of land at Agogoshi. And this will ensure effective, efficient, and sustainable use of the urban land. Now, another information that is very important for you to know, or rather to know, because I know you know already, is that to when you Google Agogoshi on um, Wikipedia, the results that comes up is that it's the most filthiest, number one, in the world. It emits hazardous e-waste. So currently as we speak, the challenge we are having is to get the relevant authorities to make a strong case through the C40s so that that particular, <laughs> uh, if you like, bad image for the country is expunged. Because clearly, Agogoshi, by the grace of God, through your good selves, the education, sensitization, and information that you've given to the world, the agriculture is no more. And I think that Ghana deserves the right for agriculture to have its original name and whatever it is meant for. And also, after the exercise, the Greater Accra Regional Coordinating Council obtained financial support from the Minister of Finance through the Minister of Local Government, Decentralization and Rural Development for the fencing of the reclaimed land. Currently, the construction of a concrete fence wall with five gates and security posts is 70% completed. A comprehensive land use proposal has been prepared for the area by the Land Use and Spatial Planning Authority, LUSPA. Mm -hmm.